Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to go over what both an identity provider and a service provider is. Having an understanding of both is a necessary prerequisite when learning how the single sign-on process works. So if we start with identity provider, an identity provider, or IDP for short, is a trusted third party that creates, maintains, and manages identity info, which also can be referred to as user record info, and authenticates users for the benefit of a service provider with that info. If you've ever used single sign-on before, you might be familiar with using G Suite All or Microsoft Azure as a single sign-on identity provider that you would use to log into your applications or websites at work. If we move on to service provider, as its name states, service providers provide a service to the end user, such as email or content management. Some examples of service providers are Slack, Salesforce, Jira, basically any company that provides a product or service. So instead of just presenting definitions, I've actually created a diagram to help better demonstrate the single sign-on process. So as an end user, I want to log into a service provider such as Slack or Salesforce. So as a user, I access the service provider app or website. Once we're on the service provider login screen, I would click or select the single sign-on option. After selecting the single sign-on option, I'd then be redirected to the identity provider for authentication. From the identity provider website or app, I would then enter the credentials or any kind of login information necessary to authenticate my identity. Once the identity provider is able to verify my identity, the identity provider then returns an accept or reject response back to the service provider, which would either allow me or prevent me to log in to the service provider's website or app. So that's all I have for this video. I know the video is pretty quick, but it's important to understand both what an identity provider and a service provider is and the role that they both play in the single sign-on process. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you all for watching today and I'll see you in the next video.